हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू आई थिंक ऑल आर वर्किंग स्टडिंग प्लेइंग एवरी थिंग यू आर डूइंग ग्रेटली ओके ओके एज पर दिस कैन दिस इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स सब्जेक्ट कंसर्न वी आर वी आर नाउ इन कैनेटिक्स ओके सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम फॉर द कैनेटिक्स वी सीन दैट देर आर थ्री मेथड्स to solve the any kinetics problems in kinetics it gives its three method gives us to finding the relation between force and acceleration or uh, force and motion variables okay with that we are solving this okay in the yesterday lecture first method we seen also we seen the problems with the help of this de lambert's method and the today's lecture we will see work energy method okay with the help of this second method that is the second method work energy method how it help us to solve the kinetic problems first in the first half of this lecture what we will do first we will see what is this work energy method how this principle of the work energy method works okay this thing we will see first then we will move on to the problems okay in the together itself in this in this session we will in this lecture we will see the concept also and the concept of one to two questions also we will see problems okay yeah see in the uh, See when when uh, this why did the name is two names work and energy right first we'll see the meaning of this you know the kinetics meaning okay kinetics problems means the questions based on this kinetics okay okay that problems we are solving right we we know what is the meaning of this word kinetics now we'll see what what is this work energy method okay see work first we'll see the what is work you know work is force into force into displacement okay that is what the work work is also a square quantity right and how we already seen in the previous class how this day to day life work and how this work is different see unless and until this two quantity if the if one of the quantity is zero suppose force is zero then work is also zero and if the displacement is zero then also the work is zero okay means when the work is exists we said the work is done by the body or on the body when there is a force because of force there is a displacement in the body unless and until there is no displacement the work is zero right see on this board i am applying a force okay this force is applying on this board but is there any displacement of this board no right then it means my work done on this on this black on this white board is zero okay that is means that is what the work if see i th now we will see uh, there are see uh, this force may be work uh, work done by this force or are, are, are further divided into three cat four categories okay this force work of this force because of this force whatever the work is doing this are uh, divided into four categories okay one by one we will see that okay this four categories we will see that that is work of a force right we are seeing work of this force first one is when for work of work of constant force when force is constant okay see uh, the if the force is constant see ultimately the work is path dependent right it's not a it's not a property right it's a path dependent then this at constant force if for dw for short time of force if i integrate this here okay this integration i'll do this in ds for the short displacement okay if f is constant then i'll take it from outside okay this is from s1 to s2 this is from 1 to 2 right that means work done from 1 dash 2 is equal to f into s2 minus s1 okay this is what the case of constant force the equation is coming like this okay once we complete this work of constant force then work of variable force see if i draw plot a graph for this then it is comes like this suppose i on 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 x axis there is a displacement yes and f right if i the this is from displacement of the particle from s1 to s2 okay the area under this is what this tells right 
this is the work done under constant force okay next work done uh, work of a constant force now the next is work of a variable force work of work done by variable force work done by or work of a variable force variable force so in this case if this work is variable okay see i am applying constantly works for you guess this what this telling me but if i am if i am applying the force variable force like this see if i am this is what the constant force right there is a displacement of the body from s1 to s2 but if i am applying the variable force like this right that case we will see how this formula will, looks like <clears throat> see for this w1 to 2 work done is the integration of f into ds right this is s1 to s2 okay in this case if this f will not come outside the integration okay this this may be the function of the distance time okay this force okay right like this you have to find out that okay in this case what the, see the graph will come like this this is a function of okay the yes okay this is what the displacement short time displacement we have to find first ds okay this is the area what dw work is done okay in this case this is f and this is yes okay this is what the variable force in this case what happened this force come directly outside because this is a constant okay if there is a constant then it comes directly to the integration outside right i think you guys uh, from the mathematics you guys can uh, you guys guys can have able to understand this what is the variable force and constant force okay by integrating this then and then then only you can find the work okay and the work is path dependent it's not a property right i think uh, in thermodynamics you will see in detail how the work is path dependent it's not point function okay okay now the se uh, second and now the fourth uh, uh, third force is work by weight force okay work of a weight this weight is also force right work of a weight see how the work of weight is see w1 work done w12 is equal to integration of weight i can weight is the right delta y in the vertical direction right i will take it as minus because see the weight is acting downward if and the displacement is also down i will take plus if yeah, see the direction of the force and direction of this displacement are the same then i will i will take it as work you in the previous class i already mentioned this work maybe this work may be positive negative or zero also right these three cases are possible in this work in this case if the body is moving downward and that is mg is acting downward and this displacement is also in downward direction okay that case i will take this is work is positive right uh, this force is called also conservative, conservative conservative force right why it is called conservative force this is not path in in is independent of this path right this work similar how this dependent on this path here also this is dependent on this path right in this case there is one fixed direction is fixed okay that's why i this is what the conservative this is what one kind of con conservative forces means it's path independent okay it's always acting downward direction the weight is always acting downward when it's vertically downward direction right it will, this weight will not act in any angle like this okay it's always acting downward direction that is it's path independent this means this work this is a point function right also this is a type of conservative force conservative this force that is weight is a conservative force okay okay then the last is work of a spring force work of a spring force see in the spring can also able to do work right because in the sp sp spring when you press the spring okay there is a capacity uh, the, the energy can store in the spring right if the energy is there then the, there is a force right force if they are able to store the, this potential energy that which is half kx square right that is our displacement and its k is a spring constant the in the spring also this force also the work done by the spring force also this capability of doing work of this force also okay okay for this work done from one to two is equal to integration of pf 
एफ एस स्प्रिंग फोर्स इन टू डी एस ओके फ्रॉम दिस इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट फ्रॉम एस वन टू एस टू ओके दिस आई टू कीप माइनस सी हियर एफ इज इक्वल टू माइनस के एस राइट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एस वन टू एस टू राइट एफ इज इक्वल टू माइनस के एस फाइव इज इज माइनस कमिंग सी द आई एम अप्लाइंग द फोर्स इन बट द दिस द डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द स्प्रिंग एंड द स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट आर बोथ आर इन डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड फोर्स डायरेक्शन ऑफ द अपोजिट राइट In case of spring, that's why I noted case W work done is case into ds, okay? And if I once I integrate this W one work done by spring comes yes k comes minus minus k, right? Minus k in bracket s square s one s two square divided by right divided by minus s one square divided by two, right? This this is what the work done by the spring force. Okay, I think there are three kinds of forces. You guys understood this? How the work of a, uh, the work of a force is dependent on the whether how the nature of that force, whether it is constant, variable, spring force, or it's because of weight force. That thing we'll see now here. Now we'll move on to the what is the work energy principle? Okay, this is. How this work of a force is connected to this energy? In that we will see. Okay, how this work energy principle deals. वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल ओके सी व्हाट दिस प्रिंसिपल स्टेट जस्ट वर्क डन बाय बॉडी इज इक्वल टू चेंज इन इट्स काइनेटिक एनर्जी राइट वी सीन दिस वर्क इज समेशन ऑफ एफ एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस इनटू द डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ दैट राइट And change in kinetic energy half m v two square minus v one square. That is what the change in kinetic. This is what the work energy principle. Okay. See here in work energy principle. Just I'll come down. See, uh, in uh, in D L Lambert's principle, in last method, this is the second method, right? Second method, solving kinetic problems. This second method. In uh, see the, in the first method, we see that is D L Lambert's method, right? D L Lambert's method. In the D L Lambert's method, what do we see? Summation of F minus F. Inertial force equal to zero, right? This means summation of E F minus E M A. This is all the inertia, right? Equal to zero. See, in this equation, in the given number equation, we have relation of this force with motion variable is acceleration. But in this case, <clears throat> this is the sorry, the relation with the summation of forces is with This displacement, right? Displacement and this velocity, right? How see how the difference? This force is related with acceleration, and in this case, this force is related with displacement and velocity, right? This is what the difference in the De Lambert's method and work energy method. Okay, this is what the principle of work energy.
ओके गाइस समबडी नथिंग डू दैट्स व्हाई गोन आउटसाइड ओके सॉरी फॉर दैट ओके दिस इज द वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल विद दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर द बी मेंबर्स मेथड ओके दिस दिस मच थिंग इज ओनली अबाउट द कंसर्ट बेस इन दिस वर्क एनर्जी मेथड यू कैन सॉल्व एनी क्वेश्चंस वी विल सी वन क्वेश्चंस ऑफ दैट एलिवेटर ओके विद विद द डी मेंबर्स प्रिंसिपल दैस मेथड वी ऑलरेडी सॉल्व with this method we will try to solve that problem of that okay and find out the tension in the string see how it is simpler than that method we will see now क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ओके मेथड इज वर्क एनर्जी मेथड वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल यूजिंग वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द एलिवेटर प्रॉब्लम इन द लास्ट लेक्चर आई आई दिस प्रॉब्लम आई ऑलरेडी रिटर्न आई विल नॉट राइट डाउन इट्स वंस मोर ओके I request you guys to take that problem. You, if you want, then I can read that problem also. Okay, but writing again and again the same problem, it will exhaust me. That's why I will not write. I will read that once more. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See. An elevator of mass three three thousand kg is moving vertically downward with a constant acceleration. Okay, starting from rest, it travels a distance of forty meter during an during an interval of ten second. Find the cable tension during this time. Assume g is equal to ten meter per second square. Okay, you please watch the last previous lecture. In that, I have written that elevator problem. Okay, yeah, I will solve now here. With you. That in that case we solve using D L M R S method. Okay, here is the elevator. What I'll do? I'll start from first step. That is applying pivot diagram. Okay, the weight of this elevator is thirty thousand newton downward, right? And the tension is T. This is ultimately we have to find using work energy principle. Okay, work energy principle. I'll write out here. Yeah, P into S yes, displacement is equal to half change in kinetic energy. Yeah, two v two square minus v one square. This is by using this equation we will solve this. Okay. Once you draw the figure, you you go to second step is using these equations, coming from this principle, work energy principle. Okay. See, if there is a work doing work, then is there definitely there is displacement, right? Because the definition of the work is force into displacement. Unless and until there is no displacement, the work done is zero, right? In order to do the work, there should be the displacement. Okay. That's why, see, don't confuse this work. With this our day to day life. See, we are studying whether we are in displacing. No, right? So we don't compare this mechanics work, you know, mechanical work, and with your day to day life work. Okay, in this work, is there any force while you are studying? You, even though you are doing, you are telling that uh, he is doing work, right? In study work, work study is going on. That case here is there is no force, there is no displacement, right? So don't confuse that with this. See the acceleration, the lift is downward in downward direction, right? The acceleration is downward. Okay. The in this, I think P a bit is over for this. Okay, for the lift because I have I have shown the acceleration, the weight acting and the tension also I shown here. But we need to find out this tension, right? First, what I have to do? See if it is a static problem, then this T directly comes to this unit, right? Thirty thousand. But it is in dynamic. That as it is going downward, this tension will be less than this. Okay, we with the help of D L M R S method, we have already solved this problem. We are already find out this T also as well as we will find the acceleration also. Okay. Now using work energy method, what we will do first step? See, we know the summation of 
f right what this summation of third is in this summation of this f upward we are this is upward i will take positive right in summation of f this is 30000 right is downward that means i will take it minus 30000 okay minus 37 into displacement as they have given and one more force is there okay we need to take a summation of this need this also this is upward then we will take t into this displacement how much displacement because of this in downward direction okay they have given that the it is travel by 40 meter in the in the problem they have given please see the problem is equal to mass mass you know mass is 3000 right this is what the newton multiple we assume g as 10 that's why one more zero comes here that is 30000 here it comes 30 don't make this mistake in while while <coughs> while writing the equations okay um lift starts from rest means v2 v1 v1 directly goes to zero right even square goes to this goes to zero because lift starts from rest okay and moving with an velocity in downward direction right okay now what i will do as i know the displacement okay this equation is over with the help of the physical equation first we have to find the acceleration of this acceleration we need to find right I will use the kinematic equation as this is uniform acceleration or constant acceleration. Yes, is equal to dt plus half at square, right? From this, in, I know the displacement is the, done by the lift in downward is 40, right? This goes to 0, okay? And this is half this a into t square in 10 seconds. I think given in the problem 10, right? From this, I got acceleration is equal to 0.8 meter per second square. Okay, this is the, I have the acceleration I got. Next, once I got the acceleration, I will find out with the help of this velocity, second equation, uh, first equation, v is equal to u plus at. Okay, with the help of this, I will find this u and I will put this v in here. Okay, this is what the final velocity, this is initial velocity, this is small v1, right? I'll, this is already goes to zero, this is initial as lift starts from rest. Okay. So v2 is equal to this acceleration 0 0.8 into t right 10 means it comes to 0 0.8 into 10 that is v2 is 8 meter per second okay this v2 you put on this formula okay here you put and then here the unknown is only t then and you will find out that the value of the t is see how simple is this than the deal than the deal numbers method because deal numbers method has took too much time okay this t, t will come 27,600 newton okay this is what the tension in the rope will come tension in that string cable of the lift okay okay we, uh, we, with this question we can comparison done with the DLMS method and this work energy method okay Okay, we'll take one more problem from work energy method. This problem is from uh, this RC blood dynamics books. Okay, I'll take this one more problem on this principle based on this principle. Please write down the problem. The platform shown in figure question number two. The platform shown in figure has negligible mass, has negligible mass. And is tied down and is tied down so that the point for long cord keeps one meter long so that the point for the point four meter
0.4 meter long cord keep a 1 meter long spring keep a 1 meter long spring compressed to 0.6 right if it's compressed uh, the 1 meter is free length of the spring if it's uh, because of this uh, core this will compress by 0.4 that's why it comes 0.6 right 0.6 meter when nothing is on the platform when nothing is on platform okay if a 2 kg block next if a 2 kg block is kept on if 2 kg block is placed on the platform and released from rest and Released from rest and released from rest after platform pushed down by release from rest after platform pushed by pushed by pushed down by 0.1 meter. Okay. Determine maximum height. Determine max height once you release the platform. Determine maximum height the block rises. Rises in the air. Measured from the ground. Measure from the ground. Okay, you you, you do. I will explain you in detail this with the help of figure. You can understand, but you first write down this. Have you guys taken this? Yeah, now I will drop this and I uh, will draw a figure so that you can very easy to understand this. This is a very simple method, simple problem. With the help of working on method, we can do this. For this, you can if you are start to apply, then it will take too much time with the help of DL numbers method. Okay. See what the given is there is one platform like this, okay. Right? This is on the spring and the strings are attached on this platform, okay. This is what the platform, okay. These are the strings. And this uh, this initially the initially the, the springs the free length of the spring before compression or any application of the external force because of this thing there is a tension okay this is 0.4 okay 0.4 meter this is what the length of this now and this is what p is a platform okay and the k stiffness for the spring is 2 newton per meter okay this is what the stiffness of the spring now in the, in the next case, what happened? Two kg block is placed on the spring, okay? And this block is compressed, it comes down. And how much distance from point three? Then means see this block on this platform. This is platform is pressed by keeping one block on this, okay? See this is a, the block of this weight is two kg. Two kg weight, right? 
is there any given like this yeah it's 2 kg weight of this block okay and this spring is compressed okay now once the spring is compressed this strings the strings will be in like this shape right if there is a compression then the spring will be like this okay because there is this is at the platform right uh, this is at the surface on which this platform came the spring is also compressed and this height becomes after putting this block this height become 3.3 meter okay this height after compression because of this 2 kg weight when you when you when you release this 2 kg okay this is this is, you can see this is block or the, you can push a weight of 2 kg also and when this released how much this 2 kg will lift that thing the height okay once you release it after release it will not go right once you release the block will reach here okay how much height this block will gain okay after releasing of this this height with reference to ground this is ground surface right with we, we need to calculate this h once we release this 2 kg weight okay see i am putting hand on this okay and i am releasing this okay because of this uh, there is a uh, because of this spring uh, spring force it will it has get a motion and it will come this much height then in this we need to find out how much this height will uh, the block of 2 kg will gain that thing we do we have to find out in this okay see we'll start the solving of this problem see first step you do you have to draw the pre ball diagram of this block okay see i'll the block is i'll assume that the block is still in contact with this okay and i will draw the pre ball diagram of this this block okay this is means this is this is 2 kg right that is uh, 2 kg means 20 uh, or it, i will take it 9.8 2 into 9.81 okay 2 kg into 9.81 this much is weight of that block right and the normal reaction is spring force right here the whatever the spring force is there because of this compression there is a spring force this much distance okay also they are given the spring constant okay <coughs> okay Okay, this is what the free body diagram of this block. Once we've done the free body diagram, we know the initial compression of the spring S1. What is the initial compression of the spring? Here, that is spring is initial uh, spring is initial compression 0 0.1 plus 0 0.6. That is 0 0.7 is the initial compression of the spring. This is in meter, right? Spring is initially compressed this much. right and <clears throat> due to due to this chord the final due to this chord the final compression of the spring that is s2 right that is 0.6 meter okay now see the bottom of the block rises from a height of this this see once i release before releasing the height is 0.3 meter but but once it leaves the, this block will rise up to this height distance h right right okay i think you got this displacement right the distance how the mechanism of the spring and this block there is a relation okay s1 and s2 you got okay why this I am finding out this S1 and S2? This is a discussion of the spring, okay? With this, we will find out the kinetic, uh, the potential energy in the spring, okay? That is S quantity, right? In the in the work energy principle, we have, what is the work energy principle? A summation of F, this summation of F means this includes the spring force as well as this weight force, this includes, okay? And the distance, how much this moves, okay? That is what individually, this this is different and this is different okay so that's why we have to write differently the displacement of this and the display the, the springs displacement okay means the spring has a potential energy right 
okay now now what i'll do I, I don't have place what i'll do i'll grab this okay i, I think like you guys taken this now i will first write down the work energy principle okay what is the work energy principle? summation of f into s is equal to half m v2 square minus v1 square right this is what the work energy principle okay now i'll start to write down this f because of the spring see here force because of the spring is half half k s2 square minus this is minus because the displacement and the force are right the different different direction half k s2 square plus minus half k s1 square okay this is what the the energy this include this is the work energy right this is the potential energy in the spring okay this includes this both right this and this means this together means this is one component okay because of the springs we need to in the system overall if you consider the system that is what your summation comes okay from this summation one part is the spring then another part i will drive with the work because of that block okay into dy right see the block weight of the block is downward but it's moving in upward direction that's why i taken here the a2 means the weight mg is downward and the block weight this this force is downward this force is weight force downward and this y is delta y is in upward direction okay the height is changing right is equal to half m v2 square minus v1 square okay yeah i think in the previous i already given you the value of this displacement this displacement i have given you right and the k in the example already given k is 200 newton meter okay k is equal to 200 newton meter okay put down this all the k value s2 is s1 s2 okay s1 is given s1 is 0 0.7 meter s2 is 0.6 meter okay 0.7 s1 is 0.7 s2 is 0.7 okay you put in this equation and you find out uh, see here this case this is goes to zero also final velocity and initial velocity also goes to zero at the height where we are measuring the block height right see the platform is here when i lose this before leaving the plat platform the initial velocity of this block is zero and after reaching at this max height this v2 velocity is also zero right this is what the this is that's why i make this term totally zero okay this v2 is zero and v1 is zero because the, you start left the block that time this is zero and this is v2 when it reached at maximum at that kind this v2 is also zero means the right part of this equation is totally goes to zero that is change in kind there is nothing change in kind in energy okay see now once i put this values minus half into 200 into s2 is 0.6 square right minus half k is 200 s1 this is s1 displacement is 0 0.6 right and this w this is mg right i think w is given 2 it means 2 into 9.81 right 2 into 9.81 and this y see this delta y is a change we have to take it from the reference from the ground right means it is h minus 0 right I think we are done with this equal to equate it to 0. The here in this equation only h is the variable. Okay. You find out, calculate please and find out, tell me the value of this h. No, here see the delta y is the, <laughs> it's not 0 guys. I am sorry, this blunder mistake which I have done. Here is 0 0.3 because, okay, when you press at the time of the living, del delta y is point, uh, point 0.3, right? And this h is starting from that height, right? That is what the delta y. Right? See here, 
see the spring is compressed to 0.3 right this is 0.3 and we have to measure this height right okay here what the work done is w and this delta y what is the delta y this much is delta y okay right delta y is this much this delta y is equal to this is what the work done this is h minus this okay i guys you understood this thing please calculate and tell me the value of this uh, h as per my answer is coming 0.963 meter okay this is what the that that block will reach once you release it after pressing on the spring okay because of the spring force and the g see this we consider here spring force also we consider the weight force both force summation of this, both forces and displacement individually we consider and then we find out the height okay this is very simple i think you, you guys understood the spring force and spring stiffness all these things you know you have idea right then you can very easily find out these things this term this is because of comes because of the spring force into displacement this is the force of weight and this is displacement because of this weight this is the what the displacement okay and i will sum up this and equate it to the zero because block starts from rest and it finally at that height max height in this point the block is also in a static condition right means the velocity that the change in kinetic energy is zero as it starts from rest and I'll finally it goes also rest therefore there is there is nothing change in the kinetic energy in that okay okay then guys with this problem we'll stop there in the next uh, in the next we'll see the concept of the this is third method of solving the kinetics problems okay that is uh, third method is impulse momentum right the, that method is also similar like this okay the uh, see in the impulse momentum what comes the impulse is equal to rate of change. Uh, it's uh, it's a change in momentum. That is what the impulse. Okay, like work is change in kinetic energy. This is see. This is what the linear case we are taking. The work done also you can take in, in rotational case also similar. Work done is equal to change in rotational kinetic energy. Okay, and then that case in place of this half m square, that case i half i omega square is coming. Okay. And in, in the place there is a torque, okay? Torque into R, the R the distance, right? R, no, no. Torque into not distance, torque into theta, okay? How much angular displacement that is giving? Here the linear displacement. In that case, you will get the angular displacement, okay? Torque into the angular displacement and equal to I omega half I omega square in rotational case. Work while you are applying work energy principle in rotation. This is what we linear case we we are applied in the rotational case. Similarly, this equation you can modify summation of torque into theta the displacement because of the torque equal to uh, equal to half I, I omega square. Okay, in the rate of rotational case I is mass moment of inertia. Okay, and omega is the angular velocity. Yeah, guys, we will stop here. It's too much today, and tomorrow what we will do? The third method that is impulse momentum method, how to solve the kinetic methods. We will also see the what is the difference, like what is seen today, how, what is the difference in which motion variable is coming picture in case of so solving the problems in case of real numbers. And in this case, what can we saw the force with the force, the velocity, and the displacement. These two variables, motion variables, are coming with force. And this giving up the relation and with the help of that we are following the problems right and tomorrow we will we will see <coughs> tomorrow we will see impulse momentum method okay okay guys then thanks bye take care